Hello everyone, this is a tutorial how to make a state table from an real age into the life history uh, diagram. As we are already aware of the structure of the entity life history, let's just jump into the field of the state table. So first we have a sequence if we assume that we have at least one iteration but state table is meaningless without it so let us assume that we have in this gun box at least one. Sequences are to be read from the left to the right, so this is the first box that we must consider, and in it we might get a D or 0 or more N, so we might get in the first state, which, which is the first for this time, but it might be the second state, so it is not a mandatory thing that uh, we, might, we have to start from the first state, but let's say we start from it. So in the first state we might get a D, an N, or a K. Let's start from D. D leads us to the second state because states are viewed as eventuating. Optimally, states with the same events they are waiting for are not different. So we say that we have a new state only if it has different events than the states that we, uh, uh, that we already have. And after D, we, we may get a K only, it is uh, not a very big question. So we were waiting for dn or k, now we are waiting for k. But uh, let us not jump right in the middle of it. We might get a k in the first state if uh, n is represented zero times. So if we get a k, then let's say it is a third state it leads us to the third state where we are waiting for only a d that is very easy so let's just write it down a d so here in the third state we must have a d because this is a sequence and after D we might get an A, a D, an N or a K which is a new state again because we had states that we were waiting for D and K in the second state we are waiting for K only in the third D and then in this fourth state A, D and K, so all the four events we are waiting for because A is uh, an iteration so it might be represented zero times but if we got an A then we are waiting for A, D and K again because zero or more times we are waiting for it so it is going to lead us to the same state Iterations are not always keeping us in the same state, but it is very common. If we got here D, a D, which is this, then it is the same as uh, here in the first state. So it's, it leads us from the fourth to the second state as here. Is shown because we are waiting for this D in this state. So second. Yep, we might uh, get N that is uh, again the same as here in the first uh, state 
which is left blank, but we are all already aware that this will be the fifth state, but let's see. After n, we might get an n or a k. And k, let's see. In the first state, we might get d and k. No. In the second state, we must have a k, which is uh, left out, but Okay, I forget it. And uh, in this third state, we might have a D. In this fourth state, an A, D, and K. So there is no NK state yet. This is the fifth. Also, D at this at this point, the fourth state. Because we are waiting for this n again, leads us to the fifth state again. And k, that is leading us to the third state again, because it is the same k we were waiting for in the first state, this k. Okay, then let's see what is in the Fifth, fifth state, we got an A, uh, we've got an N. After this point, we might get an N or a K. If we got an M, then we are waiting for an M or a K, so that is the same state. And if we have a K there, then we are waiting for D, which is the third state again. And that's it. Of course, uh, from, the, from the state uh, table, this easily, so following the logic and the structure of the entity life histories and the uh, state tables, uh, and the life history diagram is easily built. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you will.